<laughs> I didn't care what it was, <laughs> but I didn't want to lose it because mm. this is the most beautiful thing that I… Uh, that I had ever touched and I had never imagined that a human being could ever feel like this within himself. Namaste world raisers, Sabina and Roger here. Let's watch Sadhguru's enlightenment in his own words. A request by our world yogi, Ashrit V. Yeah, thank you so much for this request. And anybody interested in priority requests, yeah, we're offering them now for our channel members. We're just getting too many requests. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video. Hmm. One afternoon, I just went and sat on a small hill, which was in a, a town where I grew up. Till that moment, I always thought, this is me and that's somebody else. I had no issue with that somebody else, but that is somebody, this is me. <laughs> For the first time, I did not know which is me and which is not me. What was me was just spread all over the place. I thought this madness lasted for five, ten minutes, but when I came back to my normal ways of being, four and a half hours had passed. I'm sitting right there, fully conscious, eyes open. I sat there around three o'clock in the afternoon, it's seven-thirty in the evening, sun has set <laughs> and I thought it's only ten minutes but four and a half hours had passed. For the first time in my adult life, tears were flowing to a point where my shirt is completely wet. Me and tears were impossible, I'm like this. I've always been happy, that's never been an issue for me. I was successful with what I was doing, I was young and no problems, I was fine. But I'm bursting with another kind of ecstasy which is indescribable. Every cell in my body is just bursting with ecstasy. I had no words. When I shook my head and tried to ask my skeptical mind, okay, what's happening to me? The only thing that my mind could tell me was, maybe you're going off your rocker <laughs> I didn't care what it was, but I didn't want to lose it because this is the most beautiful thing that I… that I had ever touched. And I had never imagined that a human being could ever feel like this within himself. Mm -hmm. So when I went to my closest friends and said, see, something is happening to me like this, as I'm talking, tears would flow. And people would say, did you drink something? Did you pop something? <laughs> what did you do? I knew there was no point talking to anybody because if I just look at the sky, tears will come. If I look at a tree, tears will come. If I close my eyes, tears will come. I'm just bursting. In six weeks' time, everything about me changed so dramatically. And I just lost the sense of time. The next time this happened was very significant because there were people around me. I went and sat with my family at the dinner table. I actually thought it's two minutes, but seven hours had gone by. I'm sitting right there, mm. fully alert, but I have no sense of time. This happened many times. One day I'm just sitting in my farm, and I thought I sat there for about twenty-five, thirty minutes, but I have sat there for thirteen days. Hmm. By then oh. a crowd has gathered, India being hmm. what it is, there are huge garlands all around me. Somebody is asking <laughs> how to run his business, somebody wants to know when his daughters will get married. <laughs> all the nonsense I hated just happening around me. Hmm. And I actually thought it's only twenty-five, thirty minutes, but these people saying thirteen days, he's sitting, he's in samadhi, he's this, that. I had not even heard these words. I grew up on, you know, European philosophy, Camus, Kafka, Dostoevsky. You read that <laughs> stuff in America? Oh? And being sixties, you know, Beatles and this and that, I grew up like that. Me and <laughs> spirituality are another world. There's no chance of me going Ooh. there. So I had none of these vocabulary, samadhi, this, that stuff in me. People are saying, oh, he's in this kind of samadhi, he's in that kind of samadhi. You touch him, this will happen and people are trying to grab me <laughs> so The only thing that I could do was leave the place and travel out, just to escape this, because I couldn't figure what's happening around me. Why I'm telling you this story is, this is possible for every human being. It's my wish and my blessing. This must happen to you, whether you climb Mount Everest or not, whether you become the richest man on this planet or not, your experience of life on this planet should be pleasant. You must live blissfully and go, that must 
happen to every human being. Everybody deserves it and everybody is capable of it. Yeah, that was great. Mm. A world full of love, light, and laughter. Let's make it happen. Yeah. yeah, incredible. And just Satguru's words about not being spiritual, you know, prior to that, yeah. like how I was, you know, separate and didn't think too much of it. And and I'm finding out more and more from from our commentators, you know, and actually when we were in India, yeah, I noticed that it's, you know, it's still, you know, a culture and a country just like any other um yeah and it's not so spirituality even in india isn't as popular as you know i thought it would be like when we first mm -hmm. you know traveled there it's still just the seekers right if you're not interested in seeking higher truth then it's not going to be something that you're into it's not going to be popular that's why we love Satguru so much because he's actually doing something you know popular right and making it spread and you know and being like you know a world guru that's actually going to be you know involved in the business aspects and the media and the marketing and just to get it out there right because mm -hmm. you know times have changed and if we don't make it you know popular or something in this day and age mm -hmm. to for the masses to seek out and go for, then, you know, nothing's going to change, right? It's still just going to be everything divided. So, so yeah, great. And just as experiences, yeah, you can't deny that, yeah, something magical and wonderful happened, right? When you have that experience and becomes your mission and that's, he wants mm -hmm. to share it. we got to experience it, right? Yeah. And then so even conceptually understanding you know, the higher states of how it would be because, yeah, I've read a lot of books and I, you know, transcending the ego, what does that mean and what would that be like? And, you know, really, really think about it, part of an infinite field of consciousness and then you pop your bubble <laughs> and then poof, all of a sudden you're one with everything, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, these states are possible, right? And if we don't, but if we don't seek it or desire that, Mm -hmm. um, and wish to experience that and then then it'll never come about because it's that very intention and wish that'll lead to the letting go you know and the practices mm -hmm. that will bring it out so so yeah we need to yeah absolutely practice. uh i was very fascinated that i did not hear him or maybe i forgot but <laughs> <laughs> when he said that he wasn't into spirituality, right? Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, he was into Beatles and all kinds of stuff, but but that was not his main interest. And I think that is so interesting, you know, because mm -hmm. he had all these past lives. Mm -hmm. And yet until this very moment, it was not very present in him. And so this was just like a more of a, sounds like a spontaneous mm -hmm. occurrence. Mm -hmm. Um when causes and conditions came together. Whereas when I think of Sri M and reading his book, right? Mm, he yeah. started meditating here, bliss states at the age of what was seven or nine, yeah. like a very young age. He mm -hmm. was meditating, he was absorbed. Like he, yeah, mm -hmm. um, you know, the connection to his past lives was uh, coming up ways earlier. And Sadhguru is almost like it happened. And then he became aware of what's happening. So this is very interesting, mm -hmm. which also just shows that we never know when our time is right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And that he got, you know, talking to other people and, oh, yeah, did you drink something or anything? That reminded me of, I talked to my mom the other day, or like a month ago, you know, I, I did a meditation retreat <laughs> and then I was in this really beautiful state for three months, which was just beyond anything I ever experienced and then I told my mom I said mom I'm like 
because she worries sometimes how I am, you know, it's like I'm not traveling. I, I used to travel all the time. And so I, I live like the opposite of what I'm living now. But my well-being is just beyond anything hmm. I ever experienced. So I shared that with my mom, thinking that she would be happy to hear <laughs> that, right? Yeah. And I said, Mama, I don't miss Australia anymore. I'm so happy. I just, I do so well. And she was, she was almost in shock. She could not believe it. Hmm. And she thought her, like, I regretted a little bit saying that because it, like, she didn't believe it. It's like, Hmm. how can someone be stuck in one place uh, that is not very pretty even, (laughs) um, be so happy? It's it's very interesting. And... Hmm. Yeah, sharing it with other people, even if it's your mom, they might not mm. believe uh, believe yeah. that. That's why it's so important in this day and age. You know, when we just did a breakthrough challenge with <laughs> Tony Robbins, and we always get insights whenever we do a Tony Robbins event. And just related to this is he always stresses that we really have to be in control of our internal experience, yeah. right? Sadhguru says the same thing. Anybody who's teaching spirituality is you know, leading to that, because no matter what's happened externally, Mm. you know, we can be in a state of joy and bliss. Mm. And it was so interesting, Sabina's recent transformation, because Mm. she used to hate it here, right? (laughs) Really negative, like, you know, when the world closed down, it was, you know, it was awful, it was the end of the world. And then, and then all of a sudden, she's in this state of happiness and joy. And to be honest, is that I didn't even really believe it. Right. We just had a big discussion about it last night about how, you know, how she was going through this. And I was kind of, you know, dismissing it. But now that we had that conversation, I could be like, oh, (laughs) great. So now it's time, you know, to step up our game as a spiritual couple and we can be Mm -hmm. like on another level now that she's here with me. Right. Because for (laughs) for me, I never had a problem being you know, happy no matter the circumstances. But when you're with somebody who's not happy for so long, then they kind of drag you down. So then I was down and then all of a sudden she was up and then I was still down. And it's like, Mm -hmm. so these are interesting things, you know, to talk about as, you know, spiritual people on the path. There's all sorts of obstacles and even perceptions Mm -hmm. is like, you know, when somebody comes to another Mm -hmm. level or another insider mm-hmm. level of awareness and then the people closest to them they can't even <laughs> see that because we're so clouded by our perception so that yeah. so my programming and my ego delusional mind perceived her a certain way mm-hmm. and then wasn't able to see that she even you know transformed yeah. a little bit so so yeah great so yeah yeah and, yeah, and, and that just makes it clear also how that, you know, we don't, not everybody has the karma to see Sadhguru as a, you know, great guru, a great teacher or other teachers, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, even the Buddha had his en- enemies. And so it's, um, that's just the state of the world and the state of karma and perception and it can be purified. So the people who attack, you know, great spiritual beings, they're not lost. They're just in this moment, they have a veil in front of them that they don't see. Um, you know, the beauty and that particular being. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, so the the point is like not to judge those people, but, you know, embrace them and wish them well. And then eventually, you know, in this lifetime or the next, they will realize that because we're eventually all doomed to Mm -hmm. be enlightened. Yeah. So, yeah, and a great, great part of that is just to let go of our judgments, right? Our positionalities and, you know, because we don't understand. We don't, we're so clouded by yeah. our mode of material nature or our level of consciousness wherever we are and whatever we're identified with and all of our beliefs and programmings and, you know, the positionalities, right? Where I'm this, I believe this and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then unconsciously, we're just judging everything. And then we can't <laughs> see something like, you know, Satguru is exactly what he's meant to be at this mm. moment. And he's fully yes. embracing it. And he's saying that, well, if we don't treat spirituality, you know, like a business or a corporation, you know, people call on him a fraud because he is so influential in that regard because he's very smart with, mm. 
you know, the marketing and social media, and we really got to get this information out there that it seems like, oh, he's just after money. <laughs> well, no, he's after how am I going to get this information to as many people as possible, right? Mm -hmm. There's a difference, right? Yeah. And not just the information, but just having heard of him and the mm -hmm. path plants a seed, right? So yeah. he's like a seed planter. Yeah. Um, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Planting trees and planting spiritual seeds <laughs> yeah. all over the place. Yay. So we love Sakuru and uh, we love our channel members. And yeah. thank you so much for this request. Uh, we're looking forward to more. Um, so thank you so, so much for joining us for this wonderful video. If you liked it, please hit that like yes. button. Remember to subscribe. It really, really helps the channel. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Are you on the path to enlightenment? Sakuru mm -hmm. says we can all achieve this and we must so <laughs> let us know and remember raise yourself and raise the world thank you so much everyone and a very special thank you to ashrit v mm. we love you peace <laughs>